Welcome back, art students. In today's lesson, we will create a treehouse. A treehouse is a structure built in a tree. It's a place to go where you can let your imagination be free. Ready to begin? In this lesson, you will need a white piece of paper, a black Sharpie, crayons, watercolor paints, and a cup for rinsing your paintbrush. Okay, let's begin. We have our top, bottom, and the middle of our piece of paper. We're going to start in the middle using a straight line. Leave some space on the side here where you're making the bottom of our treehouse now. Straight line. This line will be curved. Make a little dot right above this is the center of my house, right above. This will be the point to my roof. Next, we will make our banister. The banister is a railing that helps keep you safe when you're very high up in the tree. To make the banister, we will make a line that comes out, there's the corner of your tree, comes out here, and another line that comes out on the other side. Now, we're going to make the top of our banister. Right above this bottom line here, Straight line all the way over. Close your shape. Now we will make our banister and these are just going, going to be straight lines all the way across. Next, our windows, and our windows are a square shape. We will make two square windows. One, two. Now our line's up. I've placed shutters on my windows. This will help keep the wind and the rain out on stormy days. The shutters can open and close, so these will just be rectangles that will come out from the squares. To make your rectangles, two short lines down. Very good. Next, we are going to make our tree. To make our tree, we're going to find the middle of our tree, tree house, and you're going to make a straight line down. A little bumpy is okay. Most trees are very bumpy. I'm kind of making a few bumps in my tree. All the way down, one straight line and another line. Not too close. We want to make our tree sort of wide so it is strong to hold our, our tree, tree house. Next, we're going to give our tree house two support beams. These beams are built into the house and the tree to help stabilize the tree so it's sturdy. 
one, two, one, two. Very good. I realized on my example piece, I forgot to make those stabilizing beams. So I'm going to do that right now. Maybe I'll go back and fill that in with brown. There. Okay, next we are going to make our branches that will come out of our treehouse. Now these branches can come out wherever you like. A treehouse is built sort of inside the tree and the, tree, the branches come out all different places. So let's make a branch, big branch come out here. We don't have to close our tree because it's going to be covered with lots of greenery and branches here. So here's a big branch, maybe a tiny branch that comes out. Maybe a big branch that comes out of the top of the house. Maybe a smaller little branch here. Maybe more branches on this side. Small little branch. Maybe one more coming out here. All right, to make our leaves, we're going to use rounded lines. And you will simply just touch one of your branches and you're just going to make rounded lines. And you can make those right off the page. These look like big full trees. Here's the bottom of, here's your, the top of your tree here. And I'm just going to make some rounded lines. It doesn't really, you can put your line, your rounded lines anywhere at the top. We're going to fill this whole space in with lots of green. So the more the rounded lines, the more full your tree will look. There, that looks nice. The tree is looking nice and full. Okay, next we are going to make our ladder that's going to, it's going to be a very long ladder and for this you're going to come just to the edge of your little balcony where your banister is and you'll make one straight line down all the way to the bottom so you can climb up looks like a rope now. And now here's where you can really use your imagination. Maybe you want to make yours just a rope to climb up. Or maybe you want to make yours or a treehouse have spirally stairs that go up. Or maybe a zip line. You can use your imagination here to decide what you want your treehouse to look like. In this treehouse we're going to make a ladder and a tire swing. So to make the other side of your ladder, we have one straight line. Make another straight line right next to it. All the way down. Now we will make the little rung, rungs in our ladder. Make lines all the way down. I'm tracing my line twice to make my ladder steps a little wider so I can climb up them. Okay, next we will make our tire swing. To make your tire swing, I'm going to just attach it to, the, my, to my tree house and come all the way down, not all the way to the ground and stop and make a circle and another circle 
on the inside. Now shade in your circle shape and you will have a tire swing. Okay, we are finished using our Sharpie marker. And now we're going to use our crayons to fill in some of the color here before we do our painting. Okay, the first color I'm going to use is brown for my tree. Now trees are really kind of scratchy and they've got lots of bark. So I'm not going to do my best careful coloring. I'm going to press down hard and dark, but I can leave some spots open because that's where I'm going to put my watercolor paints. And it will look nice to have a different color mixed in with my crayons. It will make my tree look more realistic. So a scratchy tree. This is the trunk of a tree. Sturdy trunk. Here are my support beams. Help brace my tree house so it's nice and strong. Now my branches. Okay, I have shaded in all of my branches and my trunk of the tree. Next, I will color in my house. For my roof of my house, I'm going to use orange and you can decide and choose really any color you like. I'm going to press down really hard and dark on my the colors here so my house looks really bright. Maybe you want your house to have more natural color so it blends into the tree and it can stay hidden. Or maybe you really want it to stand out. It's up to you. I'm going to shade in my house purple next. Tracing my shape so I know where I need to keep my crayons in this, my color in this shape. might go around that window so I don't accidentally color these my shutters and the inside purple. I'm going to do this slow so I don't get going too fast and color something I don't want to color. There. I think for this house, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to make lines using my purple crayon. And you can decide how you want to do your shade in your house. Straight lines all the way across. These look like, this looks like I have built my house using boards. All the way across. Later I will shade in my house using my purple paint. So in this, my first example, I just colored it in, colored the house in um, without using lines, but I think this will look nice too. So we'll try that. Next, my shutters. Remember those would be little um, boards that open and close over your window. I'm 
going to make little green window sills, I think. I'm going to leave this shape open, and not shaded in, because I want you to be able to see through my windows. So I'm going to leave them open and then I will paint them in the end. Okay, next I get to shade in all of my green big branches here. The canopy of the tree. And I'm just going to make my rounded lines all the way across. You can use different shades of green, maybe dark green and maybe some light green. Really jazz it up. Okay, I think we are ready for our paint. Okay, let's paint the top of our trees first. So using your paintbrush, and using watercolor paints, you're going to get your paintbrush a little wet and carefully dab off any of the water, extra water on your brush. Find your green. And you're going to carefully just shade in the canopy, all the leaves of your tree. Remember, when you are painting with watercolor paints, if you get too much paint, too much water on your paper, just to push that water, that wet water across your paper so it's not a puddle. It will dry faster this way as well. Okay, my canopy, all my branches are shaded in green. Next, I'm going to color in my house, paint in my house using my paint. I have a nice purple here. You'll see where I've made my lines. You can see my dark, dark lines coming through my paint. That looks nice. Maybe a little yellow where I've done my orange. Not much to shade in here. Okay, next we are going to shade in our tree trunk using brown. We have a brown here. It's sort of a reddish brown in our watercolor palette. You want your tree to look dark, you can use your black. You can use both colors or just one color.
getting all my branches. Okay, I think I have all of them shaded in. Next, I'm going to paint the background, what's behind my tree house. I'm going to do blue. I love blue sky days, but maybe your, your tree house, you could have a sunset or a sunrise using lots of different colors. It's up to you to choose what, how, we, how you would like to make your background. Okay, so let's start um, carefully now. We've got the top of our paper has wet paint, so we want to be careful that we don't have too much paint on our brush or our, our colors will start to mix together. So you don't want your paintbrush to be too wet. Go carefully around. Painting slow, there's a lot of little spots here to color, to shade in. Don't want to leave any spots white. Got a little puddle here, pushing that wet paint. I'm going to color. fill in all this space blue. right over my tire swing. And remember my windows I left open, I'm gonna shade those in blue next. Pushing all those wet puddles around. I think that looks great, what do you think? And here is your finished tree house. Thanks for painting with me. See you next time. Bye.